Are you planning a visit or maybe even a move here to Mexico? Do you want to know how much each little thing costs? Well, look no further. I'm about to list 40 to 50 items and services for you to better understand the cost of living here in Mexico. This is Mexico in cold, hard numbers. First, one quick caveat, Mexico of course is huge, so prices will differ from shop to shop and even more from city to city and state to state. This is just to give you a rough idea of how much things cost here in Mexico. Let's do this. I don't know about you, but I start my day off with a nice cup of coffee. If you want to get about 40 grams of instant coffee like this, it'll cost you $1.80. But of course, if you'd rather go out to a cafe and get a fancy cappuccino, that's going to cost you $2.30 and an espresso will cost you $1.80. But let me tell you, I've gotten coffees here in Mexico at like street stalls for as cheap as 50 cents. Next comes breakfast. If you go out to a restaurant, a Western style breakfast will set you back $3.80. If you go for the Mexican local breakfast, that's a little cheaper, not that much cheaper at $3. For lunch, if you go out to a very local authentic eatery, you can get a whole meal for $3.10. I'm talking about a starter like a soup, a main dish, and also an agua fresca like horchata, which I am obsessed with. Listen, if you go out to dinner here in Oaxaca, for example, that'll set you back like eight to ten dollars for a dish and a drink. And if you go really fancy, you won't be paying any more than like fifteen dollars on one dish. McDonald's is always a great way to understand the economy of a country. So let's talk a Big Mac meal. That'll cost you five dollars here in Mexico. If you'd rather go to a local artisanal burger place, that'll set you back around $8. Now, of course, let's talk about the street food here in Mexico. If you go to any stall on the street, you will not pay more than $160 on like a taco or a burrito. Most of the items in the street food stalls are that price. Maybe it gets to like $2 or something, but you really won't be spending more than that on any one item of street food here in Mexico. This is an important one. Let's talk about groceries. I spend around $30 per week on groceries. Admittedly, I have been in economy mode recently, so let's say that someone else might spend around $50 per week on groceries. I think if you do the math with $50, it'll give you a great idea of how much you'll be spending. Water is also a very important factor to consider because of course you cannot drink the tap water here in Mexico. If you purchase a 20 liter jug of water, like the one you see here, you're gonna be spending six to seven dollars and then only two dollars to refill the jug. If you get thirsty on the street and you wanna buy one and a half liter of water, that'll set you back around 50 cents. Now let's talk about La Cerveza, of course. If you want to get a beer on the street here in Mexico, it'll probably cost around $1.90, which isn't that friendly, but if you go to the supermarket, it'll cost much less, around 80 cents for a can of beer. But maybe you're more like me and you want a nice craft beer, an IPA for example. I actually looked at the menu of a pretty cool craft beer spot here in Oaxaca, so I'm going to list down here the prices of three different sizes of craft beer. Of course, if you'd rather enjoy a fancy cocktail in the sun, that'll cost you around $4.50 to $7. And for those same $7 here in Oaxaca, you can get what is considered to be a cheaper bottle of mezcal. If you want to get fancy with your mezcal though, you can do a tasting here in Oaxaca, for example. The one I did sent me back $25, but that stuff was top notch. However, if you're more of a wine person, a standard bottle of Chilean wine will cost you $7.50 here in Mexico. The subject of rent, of course, is a little more complicated because you can find any sort of price on Airbnb here in Mexico. But from my experience, you can find a one bedroom apartment that's pretty far out of town for $400 here in Oaxaca. And recently my friend came to visit me, so we needed a two bedroom apartment. We actually got a place that was a little closer to town and that cost us $630. If you want to get an Airbnb in the historical city center, however, that's going to cost you much more. So if it's in a great location, we're talking about $800 to $1,000 per month. 
Now we're gonna go over some costs for trips and general transportation. If you wanna get a city bus here in Oaxaca, that'll cost you around 40 cents. And if you wanna go to a nearby city like Mitla, for example, that will cost you a dollar. I wanna quickly talk about the rideshare apps. They do have Uber in Mexico City, but they don't have it here in Oaxaca. Here you can use Didi instead. If you get a ride on one of those apps or maybe even with a local taxi, here in Oaxaca, that will cost you between three to six dollars. But if you'd rather rent a car, that will set you back like 20 to 30 dollars per day. I recently visited the town of Puerto Escondido on the coast and I definitely suggest you do the same. If you take a van here from Oaxaca to Puerto Escondido, that'll cost you $15. If you'd rather take a nice bus, which takes longer, it takes around 11 hours, but it's much more comfortable, that'll cost you around $40. And you can get a flight directly to Puerto Escondido from Oaxaca during the high season, that'll cost you like $140. Let's quickly talk about accommodation prices for tourists. If you plan on staying at a fancy schmancy hotel, that might set you back around $150. However, if you choose a more budget hotel, that'll be around like $30 per night. Hostels should cost between $13 and $18. However, if you want to stay at a more fancy hostel, maybe that'll cost like $20. I recently visited two of Oaxaca's main tourist sites. The first one is the ancient ruins of Monte Alban. Entry there cost $5. And the other place was Yerve el Agua, the petrified waterfalls here in Oaxaca. And entry there was $3. Of course, there are other costs depending on how you plan on getting to those tourist sites. Now let's cover some general costs around the city. If you want to have data for your phone, I do suggest going with Telcel. Their service has been excellent and I probably spend around $10 a month on phone data. Another thing I did a lot here in Mexico, which I found quite affordable, was going to the movies and an entry to a movie here costs like $3.70. Pretty good deal. You'll be paying around $20 for a gym membership here in Mexico. And if you want to hit a yoga class, that'll cost you like $4 per class. A basic women's haircut costs like $17 here. A basic men's haircut costs around $10. If you're going to be looking for a co-working space, you can expect to pay $10 a day. And you can get your house cleaned twice a week here in Mexico for $50. Now let's talk some pharmacy prices. If you wanna get yourself some deodorant, that will cost you around $3. And you can get a pack of 12 motion sickness pills like this, which I use a lot, uh, especially for the van rides here in Mexico. This will cost you like a dollar. If you wanna buy some paracetamol for pain or fever, you'll probably be paying $2 for about 10 pills. In terms of doctors here in Mexico, you're gonna be paying between $25 to $45 for a doctor's visit or a dental exam. If you wanna get your teeth cleaned, you're gonna be paying like $25 to $30 for a dental cleaning. I've been living here in the rural part of Oaxaca, Mexico for just about three months now. So I made this video here to give you a better idea of what it's like. And there I will break down exactly how that's been going. So I'll see you over here in Oaxaca in 3, 2, 1.